As the name implies, it lies in the center of the skull. It is narrow in the center and wide and deep on the sides. Boundaries. Anteriorly, posterior border of lesser wing of sphenoid and anterior glenoid process. Posteriorly, superior border of petrous temporal bone and dorsum cellae of sphenoid. Laterally, chiefly the greater wing of sphenoid. Floor, body of sphenoid in the median region, greater wing of sphenoid, squamous temporal, and anterior surface of petrous temporal on the sides. Features, optic groove or sulcus chiasmaticus leads to optic canal on each side. Optic chiasma does not lie in the sulcus, it lies above and behind the sulcus. Optic canal leads to the orbit. Cella tersica consists of the important hypophysial fossa in the middle, which contains the hypophysis cerebri. Beneath the hypophysial fossa is the sphenoidal air sinus. Good. The posterolateral angles of cell atersica are called posterior clinoid processes. The lateral area. It is deep and houses the temporal lobe of the brain. It contains the superior orbital fissure with wide medial end and narrow lateral end. Greater wing of sphenoid forming the lateral part of middle cranial fossa shows important foramen rotundum which carries the maxillary division of trigeminal nerve, foramen ovale behind it, which carries the mandibular division of trigeminal, and still posterior foramen spinosum, which contains the middle meningeal artery. The emissary sphenoidal foramen may or may not be present. The foramen lacerum lies at the posterior end of the carotid canal. Foramen lacerum lies at the upper the foramen lacerum lies at the upper posterior end of the carotid canal. Anterior surface of petrous temporal shows near the apex trigeminal impression which is the ganglia for the fifth nerve in the dural cave, hiatus and groove for the greater petrosal nerve which is a branch of facial nerve and that leads to foramen lacerum. Below it is the hiatus and groove for lesser petrosal nerve which is a branch of ninth. It leads to foramen ovale Laterally is arcuate eminence produced by the superior semicircular canal and tegment tympani is anterolateral to the arcuate eminence. It forms roof of middle ear including the canal for tensor tympani and mastoid antrum which forms the posterior wall of the middle ear. That's it.